Hi everyone, I'm Casey Williams. If you're in the market for a nice mid-sized Audi, there's nothing wrong with the A6. It's very competent, drives nice, it's quiet. You can drive almost any speed you want to and be very comfortable in the car. But it's a little bit conservative too. And if you're just a little bit more stylish than the average gentleman, you might want to look at something like the A7. Or if you really want the performance, you'll go for the S7 behind us. Let's go take a look. Well, the basic architecture between the A6 and the A7 is shared. But what really differentiates the A7 from its more conservative brother is that roof line. That four-door coupe profile really gives the S7 that low, hunkered look. Very elegant and very sporty. I think it looks very, very beautiful. Our car has the black optic program, or the package on the vehicle. Comes with the 21-inch alloy wheels. Also comes with a black grill, black rear diffuser, and black quad tail lamps. So come on around to the back, and you really get that wide stance of the car. Again, just looks really planted. You got the fastback roof line coming down. Looks very exotic, very fast. Has the adaptive spoiler on the back, pops up at speed to keep the rear end planted if you're really hauling on the Autobahn. But again, I just think the car looks really sporty, looks menacing, and just gives it a lot more attitude than the, than the S6 sedan would. Well, when you pay the extra money to go from an A7 to an S7, this is what you're paying for. It's a four liter turbocharged V8 engine delivers 450 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque. That's routed through a seven-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters if you choose, and it's routed through the Quattro all-wheel drive system. So it really gets the power to the ground. Fuel economy is rated 17 miles per gallon in the city, 27 miles per gallon on the highway. So still a pretty decent gas mileage, and that's helped along by, by the automatic start-stop system on the car. Now performance, zero to 60 in about four and a half seconds, top speeds at Governor Limited 155 miles per hour. So you got a car that actually gets fairly decent gas mileage for the kind of power we're talking about and can get all that power to the ground through that all-wheel drive system. When you hit the gas, it moves, no doubt about it. Well, all Audis are pretty elegant inside too, but where the A7 and the S7 really stand apart is in the interior. It has just four place seating, so if you're planning on taking your family along, it might not be your best choice. You know, with the lower roof line, you're going to dodge a little bit to get inside of it. But our car has the design selection package on it, and what you get for that, things that I would really, really like to have in this car, you get the red leather seats with the contrast stitching, they're heated. You get the carbon twill inlays on the dash, the console, and then also on the doors. It's real carbon fiber with red stitching in it. It's deep, it's beautiful, looks very classy and very sporting. The car comes loaded with a lot of technology and a lot of comfort features too. It has quad zone, automatic climate control. The rear seat passengers each get their own climate control. It has Bose audio system. And one of the things I like about the car too, when you're driving the car, this has the Audi Select system that adjusts the steering, the air suspension system, and the calibration for the transmission. And you can do it between comfort, automatic, dynamic, or the sport mode, or you can customize the individual attributes however you'd like them to be and set your own settings. So the car can really transform from being a comfortable cruiser to, to a very tight performance vehicle. On the safety front, it's got adaptive cruise control, and lane keep assist. So again, a full, full suite of technology in the car. And if you want to bring your, your iPad along, it's got 4G Wi-Fi, and it's got Bluetooth, of course, with streaming audio. So again, a very comfortable place for four people to take a long trip. Well, you could buy an Audi A6 and be very happy with it. You could even buy an Audi A7 and be very happy with it. But I think where's my money, I go and get the S7. Get that turbocharged V8 engine, Get the appearance package, get the, the red leather seats. It's a beautiful car. Now all this comes with one little downside. The price tag, $95,525. Now at that price, you're getting close to an Audi A8. In fact, you are an Audi A8, Mercedes S550, BMW 7 Series, some very nice cars. But they're not going to be as sporty as this. And you really have to strike that balance. Do you want a big car, or do you want one just a little bit smaller, a little bit sportier, and very, very elegant and very beautiful? I think if I had the money, I'd like this car very much. Well, next week, we're another fun car. And until then, storm forward.